Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well, that everyone is safe and healthy. Everyone's family is safe and healthy. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed their nice, long, extended weekend uh, over the Easter holiday. Um, I'm doing well. My family is doing well. Everyone is safe and healthy. Um, I am currently standing in my sister-in-law's backyard. Um, they live directly across. My sister-in-law and brother-in-law live directly across the street from us, and um, they are following uh, all of the recommendations and um, social distancing and stuff, uh, as are we. So uh, we feel okay about uh, moving back and forth between their house and my house. So it's pretty nice to have a little extended um, space to be able to move in and out of. So today we're going to talk about um, our distance learning choice board. So this is what we're going to this is uh, where we're going to get our work um, from for the rest of the time that we are staying at home. Uh, currently, we are uh, planning on going back to school on May 6th, um, but that uh, may change. So um, uh, right now, we're just going to play by ear uh, as to how long we're going to be using this choice board for. Choice board for. So um, the way the choice board is set up is uh, we have um, experiments and projects um, that are intended to take a certain number of weeks to complete. So we have uh, the choice board is broken up into four columns. So the first column is the directions column. And then the three columns to the right of that uh, have uh, are broken up into number of weeks. So we have one week, two weeks and three weeks. Uh, and under each of those columns are a certain number of projects or experiments. Those projects or experiments are intended to take the number of weeks uh, that they are under uh, the columns for. So um, there are two projects or experiments that take one week. There are five that take two weeks and there are three that take, or excuse me, two that take three weeks. Um, so you are going to select an appropriate number of projects or um, experiments to take a total of five weeks. So you can select one one week experiment or one week project and two two weeks uh, projects or experiments or you can select one two week project or experiment and one three week experiment. Um, you are going to turn in your work for each week to the correct week in uh, to the correct week assignment in Google Classroom, uh, which we're going to go over in a little bit more detail in a little bit. Um, so, and each project or experiment on the right, so in these columns here, uh, is a hyperlink uh, to an, with an info sheet uh, with details on that project or that experiment. Um, so you can see um, the information in blue with the underline, those are hyperlinks. So I've got a few of these uh, projects or experiments have not yet um, been converted into hyperlinks yet. Uh, I just don't have all the information put together yet uh, as to exactly what we're going to do for those. I have most of the information. I just don't have them all compiled yet. So uh, let's go ahead and look at some of this information in detail so you can get an idea of exactly what you're expected to do. So we have uh, each box contains a link to a recommended schedule uh, as well as an information page about that project or experiment. Uh, the schedule has a breakdown of what parts of the assignment should be done when, and the information pages have materials, uh, lists, and procedures for conducting the activity. Okay, so here we have the recommended schedule for the Trash Bag Parachute Lab. So we have our two weeks. Uh, we have week one in this column and week two in this column. Uh, so for week one, uh, we have what do I do and what do I turn in? So what do I do? You have the Brackgown Reading and Classroom Physics. Uh, in physics classroom, excuse me, and you turn in the answers to the quick quiz. And then um, you also do the lab setup. So you construct the parachute, finding your drop location and measuring the height, etc. And then you're just going to turn in some pictures of your lab setup. Uh, and then in week two, you conduct the lab uh, and you turn in your completed lab report. So just a quick uh, word about expectations here. So I don't want you to get too hung up on the background, on answering the quick quiz or the check your understanding. There's going to be some Ed Puzzle things in there. Um, don't get too caught up in any of that stuff. Don't get caught up on the lab report. Um, what I want you to focus on is setting up the experiment, doing the experiments. That's what I want you to worry about. 
Um, the background is there. It's not unimportant. Uh, I do want you to have uh, some of the background information. It's going to help you actually do the lab. It's going to help you know what's going on in the lab. Um, but the experiment is the important thing. So um, if the physics uh, classroom reading is a hard slog, if it's too much information, if you can't get into it, um, just skim through it. Just get a, a general idea. It's not the most important thing. The most important thing is getting through the the conducting the lab, uh, having fun uh, doing it. That's really what I want you to focus on. So here is uh, the information sheet. So each page, so each lab is going to have an information sheet that breaks down uh, the question that you're trying to answer, the purpose of the lab, uh, as well as what you'll turn in. They also have uh, materials required. So uh, each lab is going to require a, a few materials. So uh, this uh, little sentence in bold here, please do not make a special trip out to buy materials for this experiment. Each experiment is going to have that same, um, that same sentence uh, and the same disclaimer, and it's very important. Please, seriously, don't go out and buy uh, stuff for the lab. Don't make a special trip out to buy something for a particular lab. Most of these labs, uh, you should have at least some of the things uh, that you need to do uh, most of these labs. Some of them have uh, specialized things that you might need to buy. Um, if you don't have the stuff for a lab, for one of the labs, look and see if you have the stuff for another of the labs. Um, if your family's going out to go grocery shopping um, and you want to do one of the labs that you don't have the stuff for, just go ahead and add uh, the one or two things that you need for the two labs that you want to do onto your grocery list. But don't make a special trip out, please. Be safe. Um, just add what you need to a regular grocery trip uh, out. Um, there are a, uh, hopefully most of the things that you need to do the labs you're going to have uh, at home. The trash bag lab, for example, you need a trash bag and you need some string. Um, most of you should have uh, that stuff at home. So here is the second page of uh, this lab. So it has the uh, procedures here. This is the rest of the procedures, uh, as well as a few data tables that you can see. Um, so again, don't get too caught up in making sure that you have uh, super accurate data tables. Uh, just do the lab. That's the important part. So you're going to turn in your assignments to an assignment in Google Classroom for each week. So week one is going to be week one choice, week number one choice board assignment, week number two choice board assignment, so on and so forth. Uh, so for your first, so for week one, uh, you would turn in week number one's assignment for whichever project or lab you are working on. Um, and then it's going to go that way for each week. So you're going to look at the schedule on whichever project or experiment you're working on, uh, see what uh, is due that week. Uh, so for week one, uh, for the project that you're working on, uh, whatever is due for the first week, and you're going to turn that in for the first week. If it's now week three, you are on, um, you finished uh, the, uh, a, a two-week project and you're starting a, another two-week project. So this is week three. You're going to do the week number one um, assignment for that project second project that you're working on and you're going to turn it in on week three in google classroom uh, hopefully that makes sense so uh, pay attention to the format uh, on your assignments when you turn them in so uh, materials turned in for week number two of the keep a balloon from popping lab uh, would be marked as uh, quote keep a balloon from popping lab uh, comma week number two. So uh, this assignment uh, that you see here, this is an example of week number one choice board assignment. All of this information in there, uh, so all the text in here that you can read is going to be uh, in uh, the same in every assignment. Uh, this video as well as the choice board itself is going to be in all of the week one through week five assignments. So um, if you decide to work on um, uh, a, a two-week project and you get it all done in the first week and uh, you want to turn it all in, uh, you can turn it into week one. You can turn in week one's work to the week one assignment and week two's work to week two assignment. 
uh, on Wednesday of this week, if you want, or on Thursday of this week. Um, if you're super ambitious and you want to work on two week, uh, two, two week projects all this week, and you want to get them all done really quickly, you could turn all of that in, um, by Friday of this week. And you could do, uh, week one, two, three, and four. Uh, you could turn all of that stuff in, um, all by Friday if you, uh, if you wanted to. Um, so I don't really care when you turn the work in. Um, just make sure that you're turning them in on uh, separate weeks in Google Classroom uh, so that not everything is turned in all in one week on Google Classroom. That'll make it easier for me to keep track of what everyone is doing. Um, so that is the information about the choice board. Um, I will be doing some of these experiments uh, as we go. So, um, so uh, keep an eye out on Google Classroom. I'll be putting links up to my YouTube channel probably um, where I'm making videos as I create the, as I uh, do these experiments. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I will be posting um, frequently asked questions. So as y'all ask me questions about things that you didn't understand or things that you need help with, I'll be posting answers uh, to those on Google Classroom probably as well. Um, so keep your eyes open for some more Flipgrid videos. Um, yeah. Uh, so just a last uh, minute thought. Um, as I like to end my classes, uh, I leave this thought with y'all. Keep asking questions. It's how you learn new things. Uh, everybody stay safe out there and um, good luck with the choice board. I hope you have fun. <laughs>